Welcome back, guys. So we are in 2018 uh, Toyota Highlander XLE. We're going to work on the brakes, front and the rear. We're going to remove the old brake pads and the rotor. We're going to install a new one. So I'll show you step by step how to do so. Stay tuned, please. All right, guys. So just removed the rear wheel. Um, as you can see, all my rotors and brake pads are very bad. So it, it, it lasted almost like, you know, 11 months which is not bad. Uh, we barely use this uh, vehicle for family, uh, just for kids or family whenever we go out on the weekend. Um, however, so I'm gonna go ahead and start removing. Uh, again, 14 mm bolt right there, one and two at the bottom, and then 17 right there, one and second one at the bottom. Once you remove them, your brake caliper out, then your brake, uh, uh, the, the caliper bracket out, then you're gonna slide your brake pads out. Same thing, we're gonna repeat. Take the old rotor out, put the new rotor back in, and then we will match the parts and install the new parts. All right, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna go ahead and start removing this 14 mm right on top. Then um, remove this caliper off of here and hang it securely. Um, again, please remember safety first, always use jack stand. Uh, don't rely on these jacks because they are hydraulic jacks. They tend to go bad and then uh, you don't you don't want to risk your life or anything, okay? Please make sure that you secure your vehicle with the jack stands, all this, or ramps, uh, depending on what you're working on. All right, I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I just removed the uh, brake caliper and the brake uh, bracket. So as you can see from the back, you know, now I'm gonna go ahead and hammer this son of a bitch out uh, because it's kinda stuck in there, of course. So you wanna hammer this corner, that corner, this corner, and that should come right out. Uh, please remember, you don't wanna hit your um, studs, otherwise you're gonna damage them, and then you're gonna have to really, really spend so much time and money if you don't know how to do it, then you're gonna spend money. But if you do know how to do it, then you're gonna spend a lot of time uh, installing new studs anyway, all right? Okay, so I'm gonna get this out so we can do side-by-side -side part comparison, and then we will install the new uh, parts on it, okay? Stay tuned. All right, guys, so this is my old rotor. Apparently, it's the original one, uh, never got changed. So we, this is my new one, much better looking. So we're gonna go ahead and, you know, clean this off. Uh, clean the rig caliper, put the push, push the piston back on, install the uh, caliper bracket, and then slide the new pads into it and put everything back together. Uh, shouldn't take another 10 or 15 minutes so, and we should be all caught up with there. Thank you. All right guys, so we got the uh, brake, I mean the caliper bracket on. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and slide in my new brake pad into it. So again, please remember, this is your new brake pad, right? So it has this pin. So you wanna slide this pin at the bottom and then you will slide the top part into the right area accordingly, okay? So there we go. Here. Nice and beautiful, all right? So same thing I'm gonna do from the back end. And the last thing for us is left. Just go ahead and you know, before you, um, let's say you're gonna start the engine, you're gonna pump the brake. Uh, before you hit the road, just pump two, three times at least. So, you know, the brake fluid circulates and then brakes is working as it should be. Um, so this is how you do your front and the rear brake rotors and brake pass on Toyota Highlander. And I hope you will give us a thumbs up, like and subscribe, be a part of our community. Let me know in the comments if you had any challenge or you had a different efficient way to do it and I will continue to make more videos for you. Take care. Bye-bye.